Yeah. How's it going, man? It's not bad. You're yeah. down here all the time. You see what goes on down here. And the thing, it takes special officers to come down here and be able to deal. They know exactly what goes on down here. Okay, this is that's why they, they put everybody in the same area. It's like it's how can I explain? It's like corralling people basically. You know where everybody is, you know where the, the hot spot is. You know, I mean that's George Street. Just a few blocks from Toronto's downtown core. A street exists not many people know about or would ever choose to walk through. It's called George Street. It's chaos. That's it's hard to describe it any other way. It's chaos. We are all here because we made some colossally bad decisions. And the environment here does not make it easy to get away from those bad decisions. Garbage, rats and dirty mattresses line the street that runs a short block between College and Dundas and is home to Seton House, the largest homeless shelter in the city, housing more than 500 men and the drug use is obvious. I relapsed yesterday, I won't lie about it. Uh, I'm, I'm trying not to relapse, I'm trying to, to distance myself from the crack and, and the people that do it and the dealers, and, and uh, it's, it's hard. Our Tavis uh, team here, we have six members and uh, a sergeant that are out at any given time. They're called the Toronto Anti-Violence Prevention Strategy, or Tavis, and it takes a special kind of cop to work this beat. George Street uh, is probably one of the most unique streets in the city. Unfortunately, this street also has a lot of issues with uh, addiction and drug dealing. It does have a bit of a, a violent history. Rolla Federick was murdered here two weeks ago, a victim of a double shooting. A memorial still stands here, and as bizarre as this area is during the day, at night it's seething with criminal activity. This is the reality we live in and this is the reality a lot of people don't get to see the rawness this is a tragedy this is a wake-up call for our community i like to let the young people know that drugs and guns they lead to jail and death the residents here know living so tightly together means facing their addictions every time they step out the front door how do you uh, send an ex-crack addict who's trying to clean themselves up down to George Street to stay at Seton House at Crack Central. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not going to do them any good. So those hours are not so, as fun. So. For those caught up in a life of drugs and crime, this street is the last stop. City Hall is aware of it, but what are they actually doing about it? Well, we've actually uh, purchased five houses that are adjacent to Seton House, and we'd hope to revitalize and rebuild. What about a safe injection site? That's been talked about for years. The Vancouver model of uh, it's, it's the Insight model, uh, where they create a safe injection uh, harm reduction center. Um, yes, Toronto is looking after that, and uh, we've actually asked the federal government for permission to try to introduce that. Some users agree this area could actually be transformed into a safe place for addicts. Uh, I think that would be a good idea here. You know, maybe have a, a, a safe place where people could smoke the stuff instead of smoking in public bathrooms and public parks and, and around women and children. We, we, we didn't choose to be this when we were growing up and being, I wanted to be a firefighter, I wanted to be a policeman. You end up here and it's getting out, that's the hard part. But don't look for a quick solution to Toronto's downtown drug embarrassment because at the rate City Hall moves, there won't be one. I'm Natalie Dudridge on George Street, City News.